Hello and welcome to another unboxing. This is one I've been very excited about for some time. This is some cases from uh, KR Multicase, which I bought for storing my Descent figures. Um, I'll show it as we open it up. What I've got here is two cases um, that arrived very recently. Uh, come all nicely packaged like this. Let's uh, get that all opened up. So what I've done is I've bought two cases. I spoke to the uh, people who work in the company. They made recommendations on um, what cases and, and um, what trays I should get. Uh, I find their, their system of naming the trays quite confusing, really. The key thing that, um, uh, that I realised, of course, is that the number in the names of the cases is telling you how many of them you should put to fill up the tray. So if it's got a three in the number, you need three of that case to um, to fill the case. So we'll have a look at these, see the first impressions, and see what we think of the KR multi-case. If we can ever get into them, this has been wrapped very well. There we go. Okay, just about getting in there. Okay, so a lot of people are very concerned about these cases being cardboard. Um, I wasn't worried because I mainly play at my house, so they don't have to be, they don't have to travel too far. Um, so I'm not worried about that side of it, but I believe that the, the cardboard itself is actually quite a stiff cardboard. So we'll have a look at that. If I can ever get into this packaging. There we go. Okay. So we've got some stuff there, some promotional stuff. We'll look at that in a moment. But of course, what we're here for is the cases themselves. Okay, so here is the first one of the cases. Uh, I can tell you it's pretty strong cardboard. Um, there we go, it's pretty rigid. It's, it's not like the cardboard um, that you get on, say, cereal boxes or anything like that. It's, it's definitely tougher. Hopefully that tells you. So it's it's pretty decent. We've obviously got the, um, the handle that pokes through, so we can carry that if we want to. And then inside, of course, we've got our foam. So in this one, we've got the topper, and we've got one there which is uh, like a, a puck, pluck and pick foam, which is there, and then a another foam there. So these are two that look like that. We've got, uh, what's the difference here? So the difference is, I don't know how well it comes out, we've got uh, the different rows of parts to take out. Okay, so we've got five there and obviously we can see that they're quite large. And then in this one we've got six rows. You can just about see the difference there. Okay, so let's put that aside. And open up the other one. Let's get into that. Okay. There we go, there's our second case. Take it out, okay. Now, so this has a set of dice in it. Uh, hopefully it's got the order details on here uh, on the sheet and see if I can show you. So this is my order and I'll put the details of this in the um, description so you can see that. But um, what we have is the two cases were £26.49 each with the various choices in, and as I say, I'll write all this in the description so you can read that. And then I got a set of dice. Now I don't need this set of dice, but what it was is this came to, uh, what's that, 52, £53, um, and there was free postage for if you spent more than £55. The postage was more expensive than the dice, and getting the dice pushed it over the, um, uh, requisite £55. So it came in at £55.47, which was uh, fantastic. So got some dice, don't need them, but it actually brought the price down peculiarly receiving more stuff. Looking at the dice themselves, they're just D6s, we've got six of those in a sort of 
pearlescent marbled effect. And we've got a KR where the six should be. So that's very nice. Don't need them, but um, well, stuff is always fun to receive. Um, okay, there we've got our topper. Now here, what we've got is half sized uh, sections and there should be two on this side. Oops. Two on this side. Oh, three on this side. That's me making a mistake. Three on that side. Okay. And on this side we've got four. So these are shallower. Obviously we have a different number of different sized trays in there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, so 18 on each of those. And these are deeper than those. And on this side we've got uh, what's that? Five by four, so 20 in each of those. So this will store, uh, well, 80 miniatures on that side. And uh, what do we say there? Uh, 18, so 54 on that side. So quite a lot of storage getting in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this up with the uh, miniatures and I'll show you it in completed form. Okay, so I've now got all of the miniatures put into the two cases. Um, I should say before I start, this includes all of the miniatures from all of the expansions. There's about seven or eight um, lieutenants that I haven't got in here, but I think they're all the smaller size models. So that should be okay, I've got all the larger ones in here. So let's show you how it all works. So in this one, I've got all of the smaller figures. So we've got the little topper there. So we've got these little half trays, which are great because you can take them out. So we've got all of the um, heroes in this one. Uh, you can see a couple of them have started painting on, haven't got very far yet. Uh, I've got all those. Uh, two more heroes, some of the uh, lieutenants here. Lots of space, which is good, so any future expansions should be okay. And then we've got this tray down here with some of the um, other uh, one space monsters. And some more down there, which is great. Uh, all of these fitting in quite nicely and easily. So that's good. And then here we've got these slightly larger ones. So there's three trays of these. Again, a couple of spaces here and there. This one's a few more spaces. These are some of the slightly more sticky outy ones. Um, they're absolutely fine in there. These are poking up a little bit. These, uh, this type, they're poking up a little bit. I may move them around a bit to sort of sort that out so it's not quite as bad. But they're all in there quite nicely, snugly and securely. And that's got all of the single uh, space miniatures in there. Let's just put those back in. Okay. And then in this, uh, in this case, here we've got the larger ones. Now I didn't need to use this quite as much. Um, and in here, this is the, the pluck and pick. We've got loads of foam that I've pulled out now, tons of this stuff lying around. Um, it was fine pulling them all out, absolutely okay. I had to cut the foam, these uh, longer bits that come through here, it's just one long piece, it's not actually perforated. So I had to cut slightly here, but that's okay. More space in these bits for more larger monsters, but they're all fitting in there quite nicely. Um, I may change things up as they get painted, um, just to make sure they're all secure, but also not getting rubbed, but that was all fine. And that's all of the larger uh, monsters, except for these three. These are three of the lieutenants I've got, and almost this lovely large dragon for Velindra. Um, and then these two are just in these slightly larger uh, recesses than some of these other ones here, just because they, they sort of poked out a little bit. Um, I guess I could have put them in these, but that sort of felt okay. Now, as there are future expansions, what I can of course do is I could take this in half. Um, it's actually only one piece, but there is a perforation running down the middle, and I'm sure I could sort of cut through the sides there, and then have some more half trays in there, which would be okay, just like in the smaller case. But they all fit in, and um, a little bit of space left over for any future expansions, so that's really good. I'm really happy with these. I think they're really good cases. The foam itself is hard enough, but it's flexible enough. It feels really good. Um, I really like it, so it feels very secure. I'm really happy with them. Um, they weren't cheap. Um, there are certainly more expensive uh, cases out there, but um, yeah, really happy with these. Uh, they're nice, they're lightweight, they're, they're rigid. Um, not worried about the cardboard. It's absolutely great. Uh, you just have to poke that in to get the handle out. That's a little bit odd. Uh, the handle just sort of sticks in slightly, but you know, a bit of wiggling and you can get it out. But to be honest, it's so small that you just pick it up with your hands anyway. So really happy with the cases, really good to get them. They will be great for years to come. And of course, 
random free dice. So I would say KR multi-case, absolutely great. Worked perfectly for my descent models. Having two cases that size feels okay. It's not enormous. Um, yeah, love it. So well done KR multi-case. Thank you for, for the cases, absolutely loving them. Um, they will be great for years to come. There you go.